There is a little heroine in the forest. Her name is Ivy. Today, an unexpected adventure begins for her. Come along on Ivy's mysterious journey. Early in the morning, Ivy emerged from her nest, breathing in the cool, moist scent of the forest. A new day meant new adventures. As Ivy wandered through the meadow near her nest, she saw a few fallen blueberries on the ground and happily picked them up. These will be perfect for my breakfast in the morning. Ivy was picking myrtle when suddenly a leaf moved. He stopped and looked around carefully. Something seemed to be moving, but he couldn't see it clearly. Curious, he bent down under the leaf. Hello, is anyone there? When the silence continued, Ivy took a few steps back and asked again. If you are hiding, don't be afraid, I can help you. Suddenly, another leaf next to the leaf moved quickly. Ivy hurried over there, but before he could see anything, he sensed another movement, this time from behind a stone. Ivy slowly approached this further stone. Finally, behind the stone, he found a small ladybird trying to hide itself. Hello, little buddy, I'm Ivy, why are you hiding? Oh, hi. I'm a little, scared. Ivy moved a little closer to get more information. What are you afraid of? Maybe I can help you. My, my mom went hunting a few days ago and didn't come back. I'm very scared to be alone. Ivy was very upset. He understood the little ladybird's concern and decided to help her. We can figure out what happened to your mom together. If we both look for her, we can find her faster. Don't you think? The little ladybug and Ivy set off to the place where their mother was last seen. Ivy looked around carefully and took a long look at the tracks on the ground. After a while they found broken branches and chewed leaves. There were clear signs that something had passed. Look, these tracks are new. Your mom might have passed through here. Let's follow them. As they followed the trail, they heard a faint sound coming from under the ground at the base of a tree. Ivy and the little ladybug slowly approached the sound. There, half buried under the earth, lay the beatless mother. They rushed to her. Hello, I'm so glad we found you. We'll get you out of here in no time. Don't worry. The little ladybird's mother slowly opened her eyes. Oh, thank God. It's so good to see you. I was stuck here and I couldn't get out. I was desperate for help. Ivy and the little ladybug quickly started digging in the soil and finally managed to free the mother ladybug from her trapped position. The little ladybug and her mother hugged Ivy with gratitude. Thank you so much, Ivy. I don't even want to think what my little baby would have done without you. I might never have gotten out of here. Ivy smiled at them. I am always here to help. Look, everything is better and more fun when we help each other in this forest. Doing good makes life even better. It was time to go home. Ladybird said goodbye to her family. Ivy walked slowly into the heart of the forest, at peace with the sounds of nature around his. The sky glowed with shades of red and orange as the sun set. With each step, he remembered that small acts of kindness lead to great happiness. Ivy fell into a sweet sleep, hoping to create a better tomorrow for everyone. He needed to recharge her batteries. After all, deep in the forest, a new adventure awaited his every day. If his adventure is over for today, but there are many more stories to tell. Next time we meet, I will be here again with new heroes and new adventures. As always, I invite you, my little friends, to be a part of these stories. See you in our next story. Goodbye.